how did you just you know get to the drop shipping model? Right. So so I started out on Teespring. So I joined a few uh, like Facebook groups, which I think I think to start out you really have to join join like a group of community, everyone doing the same thing. So during that time, because Facebook ad cost was cheap, cheaper. So yeah. at, Facebook ad cost was rising, and it was sort of the margin wasn't enough, and there were like so many t-shirts if you just go on facebook there are like so many t-shirts everyone is selling t-shirts yeah so this began to become like saturated so it kind of pushed people from teespring out to this thing called uh shopify right yeah so at that time a lot of uh shopify had a lot of apps like print print on demand apps that you sort of can put your own t-shirts on there but if the app you're just linked to for example even teespring they have it so i just sell on shopify and then teespring will fulfill for me kind of uh-huh. so it's like now nowadays like Printful, um, yeah, this uh, this kind of tea launch, this kind of apps. Yeah, yeah, those apps that you connect to Shopify for print on demand. Yeah, got it, got it. And, and yeah, and I realized like it doesn't have to be T-shirt after a while, so it can be just basically you can just sell anything. Yeah, I just I realized that this is the concept of dropshipping, right? This is the yeah. beauty of dropshipping. You can basically, sell anything without having to hold inventory and. That's really a very nice way. Actually, it's a really nice concept of business that you should always really test things out just by doing it. You know, you don't have Got to do it the traditional way of going out to do survey and things like that. You basically can test everything just by doing it. You you Got post it. your product, sell it, and the result is just that you don't have to you don't need opinions, you know, yeah. of whether you will sell or not. You just do it and uh, move okay. on. So you yeah. did it like before people started dropping you know, content on YouTube before people started doing courses. So you started drop shipping before it blew up, is it? Yeah, so so I I guess I was one of the earlier ones because I, I started in Teespring and sort of followed yeah. the people who moved from Teespring over. But um it was really like the when more people came into drop shipping and everyone started sharing ideas, then it began to really I began to really grow from that. Okay, from got it, got it. So, yeah, so so always be uh, like keep yourself in the community and learn from everyone else yeah yes. that's true because yeah. like when i went to the mastermind in phuket the one we went together when i started building all these relationships and all these networkings that's when everything exponentially grew uh so you're right yeah. about that you see what other people are doing yeah. and like every time you talk to someone you you skip months and months worth of testing and experimenting yeah that's true yeah. and then like if you're by yourself you're I'm, I'm i was thinking like i want to hit 1k per day you know yeah i was keep i was always aiming for 1k per day until i go out there and i see people like aiming for uh, they are reaching like 100k a day exactly like exactly like, okay what, what am i doing i need to back up and you know so exactly. that's that's where you push yourself to break break through new new levels that's really true